first of all, I'd just love to give a big shout out to all my subscribers. Um, you've been great following me along the way. But um, yeah, spread the word. Get your friends to subscribe for me too. Uh, that'd be great. Oh, we've made it to Cooktown. I'm in a bit of a walk around down on the foreshore area in the park. Just found some pretty cool stuff, so just give us a look. It's all made out of tiles, different murals, and writing. I think the kids have done it by the look of it. Looks pretty cool though. Double sided, it's on the other side as well. I think they all tell a different story. It's pretty cool. I take it this is where Captain James Cook actually landed in this spot right here. 1770 where the salt meter salt water meets the fresh what is that? What a great spot there right on the river beautiful day for a nice little stroll along Got a nice little path just walking along at the moment there's different messages on here not sure if you can see that and the man himself Captain James Cook It's a musical ship. Pretty cool. Kids to play in. Obviously. These little thong spatula sort of looking things on the ground there that hits all the tops of these. Throws out some different sounds. Pretty cool. Just heading up here to look at this cannon. It's pretty awesome. Cooktown cannon. History for people who want to pause and have a bit of a read. Cannon number 63911, which is right there. 63911, 1803. I'll give you a look around the other side. See you soon. So we're just having a bit of a walk along the water's edge down near the jetty area. And we found a water, little water park that they've made here. It's Chad's just having a bit of a play on at the moment as I have a bit of a stroll back to the jetty. But yeah, we'll give you a bit of a look. So you've got a nice path all the way along goes right out to near the point which is out that direction a little play park just over the back there which i'll give you a look of when i have a bit of a walk back up there 
tiny little town it's not real big but um got pretty much everything you need iga and a lot of little shops and i think there's a hardware at the other hand a couple of servos and it's a nice water and hole for a cold drink you got all these little signs everywhere giving you history lesson they're pretty cool to check out and this one's in the shade so i'm not sure how good this will come out in footage but there's a whole heap of them up and down the main street i've seen a fair few of them at the moment so yeah check them out give you a bit of a history lesson of the area You get some lights on here too, so you can have a bit of efficient night time too. Always a good thing. Pulled up here at the Botanical Gardens. I'm just going to have a bit of a walk through and maybe grab a coffee. So yeah, come along and let's go check this out. So you got a nice barbecue area, lots of different chairs around. All these nice big trees, paper bark trees. Got a couple of different signs around um, telling you about the use of some of the plants from the aboriginals quite interesting to check out You've got the foxtail palms which are these ones just here which as far as i know they only grow up here there's a sign for it quite a pretty little flower not sure how well you can see that, but quite nice. And that's the name of the plant. Quite a nice little walk through here. Quite easy walk. All paths. Concrete pathway through, so that's good. The different birds, bird noises around. It's pretty cool. Check this out. There's a something different. I'm not going to try and pronounce the names of these trees or plants some of the flowers on these plants absolutely beautiful really nice and they're like leaves flowers yeah, flowers underneath them really nice it's a pretty cool one Beautiful little spot to walk through. This little bit here is like a rainforest. Very short one though. Very hot and tropical up here at the moment. It's 
so it's about 34 degrees so I won't be doing the full walk around there's a lot of other little gateways to go up to other headlands and other walks through you still uh, do a short little walk through and check it out some of these trees are pretty amazing though this one here looks pretty cool it's a big gash in the side of it it's growing pretty different it's a little hole all the way through it Oh, mangoes up there too. Lots of different birds around. I'm scaring them as we're walking through. <laughs> yeah, come and check it out if you're up here in Cooktown. Botanical Gardens. Quite a nice little stroll through. Got a coffee shop and gallery I think that was there. I'm just going to go up that way and have a look now. I'm not sure if I can film in there but we'll have a look anyway while we're there. If I can show you a little bit I definitely will. A map of the gardens there. As you can see it goes a fair way. And you be careful, fallen limbs, fallen mangoes, snakes, crocodiles, so just your warnings as usual. This is just some of the different art in the gallery there at the cafe. The freshwater croc. Well, there's some beautiful art in here. Just give you an idea how much is actually in just this one part. So I recommend you just come and check this out. Oh wow, check this out. What a beautiful little spot. I'll just spin you around and give you a look. This is great. All the ocean out that way. Bit of a river mouth bit here. Obviously you gotta be careful of crocodiles around here. It's a bit breezy at the moment though. What a great spot though. Got the whole beach to myself by the look of it. I'll go for a walk out and have a look. I was going to try and put the drone up. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to. The winds are very up and down at the moment. 